Farm operations, large and small, count on repeatable, accurate moisture testing to help them make smart grain storage decisions. Shore moisture testers use proven measurement principles in a cell design that makes our machines the most consistently accurate and economical moisture testers available. Our products allow growers to get test results in the field that closely match the results of commercial moisture testers used by grain elevators. Shore moisture testers will test hot grain up to 160 degrees right out of the dryer, and not many other testers can do that. Our testers can provide accurate moisture results for a large variety of commodities including grains, processed and unprocessed rice, vegetable, grass and oil seeds, peas and beans, peanuts, coffee, hemp, and other specialized processed commodities. Today we'll be going through how to test grain using each of our three main moisture testers, the Shore 920, 930, and 935. Let's get started. I will be demonstrating the 920 unit first, but before that we must weigh out our grain sample using the HT500 scale that comes standard with the 920 package. To weigh out our sample, we'll start by pressing the on button. Once the scale turns on, place an empty measuring cup on the scale and press zero. When the scale zeroes, pour the grain in the measuring cup to the required weight. For wheat, that should be 250 grams. The 920 and 930 units will tell you what amount you will need to test your specific sample. Now that we have our sample weight out, we can pour it into a dump cell and run it on the 920. To test our sample on the 920, we'll start by turning the unit on using the switch near the back of the machine. The 920 will go through its startup and show the unit's serial number as well as some other information. The first screen to show up will be a commodity which can be changed by simply pressing the up or down arrows. For this demonstration, we're using wheat, so we won't need to change the commodity. Now we press test, and the machine will tell us to wait, then load the sample. We'll load the sample, and then the 920 tells us to push test, which will do that as well. After a few seconds, the display will show the commodity you're testing, followed by the temperature, and finally, the moisture of the sample. This information can be toggled between using the up and down arrows, and to repeat the process, you simply pour the sample back in your dump cell and press test to return back to the first screen. This here is the Shore 930, which is a very useful unit to own because of its ability to measure test weight using the built-in scale. So before we measure moisture using the 930, let's go over how to measure test weight. Step 1 is to turn the unit on, and like the 920, it'll go through the startup and the first screen should be a commodity. Next, we'll take our empty pint cup, place it on the scale, and this pint cup comes with the 930 package. Now we'll press way to zero the scale, and then we're going to overfill the pint cup with our grain, and then we'll use our strike off stick to strike the top off and this strike off stick comes with the package. We want to make sure we get a nice even top. And after this we're going to press TW for test weight and this will show us test weight in pounds per bushel so we're getting about 56.5 and to go back to the commodity screen we'll just press test and now we're ready to measure moisture. First we need to measure out the sample. This step is very similar to measuring test weight. Just grab a plastic container and place it on the built-in scale. Now press weigh, which will zero the scale with the container on it. Now you can fill the container to its specified weight, which is 250 grams for this sample grain. Now that we have our sample, we can pour it into our dump cell and press enter to return to the commodity list. To measure moisture, we'll use the up and down arrows to get to our commodity, which soft red winter wheat is fine. So we'll press test. The unit tells us to load the sample and press test. So we'll do that. and the display will come up with the moisture and the temperature of the sample. 
And to test again, we'll just press clear and we'll repeat the process. Lastly, we have the Shore 935, which works a little different than the other two units. First, we'll flip the switch on the back and wait for the machine to power on. Depending on your unit, this may take a couple of moments. At the bottom of the display, you'll see a yellow progress bar that shows you how close you are to using your 935. After the loading screen is done, the machine will tell us to place an empty dump cell on the grain cell and press start. So we'll take our dump cell, place it on the grain cell, and press start. Now we'll wait a few more moments, and right now it's just calibrating the dump cell and the grain cell together so that it recognizes that weight. After a few seconds, the machine will tell us to remove the dump cell. So we're going to remove the dump cell and we'll press refresh. And right now it's just coming up with all the charts. So after a couple of seconds, we'll get the first chart. And it is wheat, I believe. And you can switch your commodity and how we do that is press menu and then press chart selection. And this will come up with a bunch of different commodity types. And for this demonstration, we'll be using wheat. So we can press the wheat icon and specifically soft red winter wheat. So we'll use the arrows to go to that and then press okay. Like the test weight for the 930, we'll be using the strike off method to get our sample for the 935. So what we do is we simply overfill the dump cell and then we strike it off with our strike off stick that comes with the 935 package and make sure it's nice and even on top. And now we can take that to the 935 to test. Now that we have our sample, we can take our dump cell and place it on the grain cell and then we can drop it in. And now the machine will automatically test our sample and it should come up with our information in a few seconds. And that will include our moisture our temperature, and the test weight of the sample. And to redo this process, just take the grain cell off and pour it back in the dump cell, and you're ready to test again.